My background, uh, I was a design ethicist at Google actually studying how do you ethically shape two billion people's thoughts when you control news feeds, smartphones, notifications, et cetera. And I bring this up because when we talk about education. What is educating your nervous system on a daily basis? Your smartphone. And 2.8 billion people, more than the size of Christianity, are jacked into Facebook for uh, hours, in the Facebook ecosystem for hours a day. More than 2.3 billion people use YouTube for more than 60 minutes a day. In developing countries, it's hours and hours. And so no matter what kind of education we provide, the technology companies that, whose business model is strip mining human attention and automating what thoughts and, and, and where attention goes, are controlling and shaping the cultures, the education, and the beliefs of populations, which is actually fueling some of the rise of populism, extremism, and conspiracy theories. And I just want to bring that perspective because I think it's really important to acknowledge, no matter what amazing kinds of education initiatives that people in this room enact, uh, we have to acknowledge that uh, there are uh, you know, trillion dollar companies whose business model is to automate what we show people. And a couple quick stats, you know, YouTube has recommended flat earth conspiracy theories hundreds of millions of times. So if you wonder why your students believe in flat earth, uh, that the earth is flat and not round, that might be why. Uh, Anti-vaccine conspiracy theories are fueled on Facebook and on, and on YouTube. Climate denial actually outcompetes uh, the scientific consensus as recommended by YouTube videos. So if you wonder why do not more people are alarmed by the climate crisis, it might be because YouTube might be recommending that. So I want to be very respectful of time, but just wanted to offer that perspective. Thank you.